Wow, look at me! Flying DJI FPV with an Xbox controller. So yeah, you can play DJI FPV simulator with just your console controller. And today we will be trying many more controllers and see if they work. Here I have a better FPV a remote. DJI, uh, one from DJI Mavic Mini. So we will test which controllers uh, work with the simulator and how to connect controllers to the game. So maybe let's start with the most common and popular Xbox uh, controller. So to pair your gamepad, we need to go to iPad settings. You can go uh, hold just uh, Bluetooth and it will go straight into the Bluetooth settings. We can turn the controller and hold the pairing button. The icon will start blinking rapidly and here you can see Xbox wireless controller. I tap that and I'm connected. So now I can run DJI Virtual Flight app. And you can see there is no mention about connecting Xbox remote. But I will just click smartphone, click confirm, and choose any option. So let's go to free flight. Let's go to normal mode and it says to arm the drone, just hold the sticks. And you can see we are armed. Push the throttle and we are up. I just go, I just hold forward to go forward. Hold to the right to move slightly right and etc. And if I switch to a sport mode, well, look at me, I'm flying with a one hand. Let's try dive some gaps in this abandoned building. Yeah, you can see I'm, I have pretty much very precise controls. And of course, we can finally go to the manual mode. And finally, uh, we need to switch camera to a first person mode. And finally, we fly this uh, like a real FPV drone. So, in my first video, I, I showed uh, flying in a manual mode with the touch controls, and that didn't really work. But as you can see with controller, I can fly pretty comfortably. And some uh, mentioned in comments that you need to increase camera angle. So yeah, if you are flying at zero, you are pretty much looking straight at the ground. So you need to put at least 20% uh, camera angle and then uh, uh, flying is much more comfortable. Still, if I release sticks, you can see the drone is climbing pretty rapidly. So Since the Xbox gamepad always center my sticks, the drone is always uh, climbing, so I have always uh, press uh, throttle slightly down to keep the, uh, the correct altitude. And it's actually the same thing with the real controller for this uh, DJI drone. By default, uh, stick center, and you cannot comfortably fly in FPV mode. You have to unscrew some 
balls and uh, springs to make the left uh, stick uh, more freely. Okay, so maybe let's try some FPV tricks, some simple rolls, some power loops. Let's try diving. So it's it's still, uh, I mean, it's still pretty different than flying my regular drones. But again, this drone is much more heavier, much bigger, much more powerful. So it might be that it flies like this. But yeah, with the controller, you can see I can fly. <laughs> I can fly. Uh, pretty easy so as you saw xbox controller works pretty well with a simulator now let's try better fpv remote just in case it will work too as xbox controller was not listed in supported device list and yet it still works so i plug the usb cable on the end goes to my ipad adapter And it does not seem. And there are no options for the controllers. And let's restart the app. Maybe it will have a difference. Now, as you can see, it would be too good if the simulator would support regular better FPV controller and any other OpenTX uh, controllers. So sadly, you won't be able to use this app with uh, regular controllers. So let's move to DJI Mini Remote. And this one is officially supported uh, in DJI uh, simulator on desktop so again there might be a chance that it will be supported uh, by the uh, mobile simulator too so i plug micro usb cable to the controller and then to usb adapter on my ipad and light is blinking probably it's not recognized Yeah, we turn off the controller, it shows charging, we power on the controller, and it just shows no connection. Oh well, so now we know that the regular C controllers do not work, uh, Mavic controllers will not work, and pretty much uh, Xbox controller is your only option. Maybe PlayStation uh, gamepad would work too, but since I do not have a PlayStation, I cannot uh, test that. So we will continue with an Xbox. And yeah, flying in sport mode with this new DJI drone is so much fun. I think a lot of people are comparing uh, DJI FPV to regular FPV models and they kind of misses the point because we come up with the conclusion that uh, yeah, this drone is fun, but it's not, you know, comparable and there is no competition to regular FPV. And I think DJI uh, does not even try to compete, uh, you know, to, uh, to regular FPV drones. They are already selling like regular FPV drones if you want to get into regular FPV. And this is totally different product. This uh, drone is exactly this, like flying in a DJI with a DJI modes that no other FPV drone can offer. So first, it makes flying so easy with the goggles. But second, even for me that flies 
FPV drones in manual mode regular. Flying with DJI model is so much fun because it's it's easy, it's relaxing and it's different experience. Like some people like to fly FPV planes and go for 10 kilometers and just cruise, you know, and enjoy the view. And this drone is exactly that. It can go for 10 kilometers. You can fly it with one hand, one finger and just put it in the air and enjoy the views. Like go to your favorite lake, to your favorite liver, just fly to your favorite lake, favorite river and explore. Or maybe go to the mountains. And thanks to everyone who have ordered the GIFPV drone through my affiliate link in the previous video. I will leave a link to in this video too. So if you want to help my channel, use the link. And I will really appreciate the bonus and I will spend it to get my DJI FPV unit. So as I said, it's definitely not the same as uh, fly, uh, flying my regular PV drone, but it's definitely easier than flying on a touch screen. Okay, I thought we will finish the track without crashing, but we will have to try one more time. Maybe we will try another level. Advanced track. See, I think it's cool that they added uh, training mode, but it does not seem like super useful. Uh, I have a video on Drone Week Racing Simulator, and it has the best uh, training mode for beginner FPV pilots. And if you actually want to train on a simulator, check that video and uh, download that game. It's like $10 and it will be the best 10 bucks you ever spent. just makes little sense to fly this drone through a racing track and do all racing uh, maneuvers with uh, such big, heavy and expensive uh, model. The whole point of like FPV and racing, even freestyle, is to build cheap models, bash them and you know, have cheap repairs, etc. So I really do not understand the purpose of, you know, training uh, manual RPV with a pretty expensive DJI model. But we finished the mission just one second shy. Flying in a sport mode is so much easier. So yeah, that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button. And if you are curious about my new clock lamp, well, there is a link uh, to that too in the video description. So thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos and I will see you in the next one.